Hi, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.net. If you come over to our URL and click on the free challenge labs, you can download the topology for this trunking lab, as, as well as about 20 other labs. So I'm going to go straight into the configuration of the routers. I'm presuming if you look at the trunking, you know how to add an IP address onto routers and also how to change the host names. If you're not too sure, don't worry, because in this video I'm going through the configuration to set up the IP addresses on the fast Ethernet interfaces of the routers in the diagram. So basically what we're doing is we've got router A and B connected to one switch and router C and D connected to a bottom switch. We'd like router A and D to be in one VLAN and router B and C to be in another VLAN. So we're going to need to set up um, two VLANs on both switches so they can communicate over the trunk link. I've added an IP address onto router A and now I'm just going to connect to router B then C and then D and just add on the IP addresses as per the diagram. I do recommend if you're watching this video now you just stop it, come over to howtonetwork.net click on the free challenge labs and you can download this whole topology and also the challenge um, so you can see the diagram a bit clearer. So just for the next minute I'll just be adding on the IP addresses and I need to talk while I'm doing that. Now we come to the fun bit, the top switch, I've obviously named top switch. Real useful command for the CCNA exam is show VTP status. You want to make sure that your, both your switches are in the same VTP domain name. And depending on what you're asked to do, that they're set to server. Don't have time to go into the theory as to server and transparent modes and, and etc. for this lab. So, looks very similar to a router configuration really. Go into config t and then just to create a VLAN, the command is VLAN, then the VLAN number. Don't use the VLAN database command in the CC and exam, that's an old fashioned command. You see the switch has dropped into config VLAN, and I'm going to give the VLAN 10 the name VLAN 10. The switch will actually call it VLAN 10 as well, but I'm just doing it all in uppercase. To create VLAN 20 from that um, prompt, I can just type VLAN 20 and the iOS is clever enough to work out what I want to do. And I'm going to name that VLAN 20. 
So that's all you need to do to create VLANs on a switch. In fact, you don't even have to name them if you don't wish. Okay, the next command, I'm going to create the VTP domain name. I'm going to call it Cisco. The switch will tell me that it's already named Cisco, but I wanted you to see the VTP domain command. These are real common for the CCNA and CCENT exams. Now the 2950 switch you'll be using for the CCNA uh, exam itself, it, it should actually um, automatically realise that it's got a trunk link configured when you click on, uh, when you connect a crossover cable and connect it to another switch. So what I'm going to do now is uh, show you the command switch port mode trunk. I've configured this on fast ethernet 0 slash 1. I didn't actually need to put that on because as I said the switch is clever enough to work out that it's connected to another switch and it will set that interface to trunk. The same for this command. On the left hand interface on the top switch I've typed the command switch port mode access. That will actually be on there by default on the switch. But I do think you need to know how to type that command just in case you're asked in the exam. The one command you will need to put in is switch port access VLAN and then the VLAN number. That's under interface configuration mode and we're putting the left hand interface on the upper switch into VLAN 10 which is router array. The right hand interface fast ethernet 0 slash 3 I'm putting into VLAN 20. So very straightforward commands really to configure VLANs. We're not doing any routing, so the VLAN 10 won't be able to speak to VLAN 20 for this particular lab. It's just having a bit of confidence really, and the way you get that is to just go over labs over and over again. I've just typed show interface trunk, and it's telling us that the fast ethernet interface 0 slash 1 is trunking. It's using 802.1Q encapsulation, which is the only encapsulation available on the 2950. Show VLAN brief tells me which VLANs we have configured and which interfaces are in each, which VLANs. Very important command for you to remember for the CCNA exam and of course the CCENT because there's a 50-50 chance you're going to get a switch installation or troubleshooting question. Now we're connected to the bottom switch. I've obviously already configured the host name. I'll type show VTP status and I can see the VTP domain name is Cisco, which is exactly what we wanted. So really we're going to do pretty much the same commands uh, on the bottom switch. There's a live rack via howtonetwork.net. You just type racks.howtonetwork.net and that's exactly what this topology is uh, based upon. We've got a couple of switches and four routers. You can do all your inter VLAN routing on on this topology as well. So I've created VLAN 10 and I've given the VLAN the same name VLAN 10 and the same for VLAN 20. I'm going to drop the interfaces into the correct VLANs now. You have to create them first and then attach whichever interfaces you wish. Switch port access VLAN 20 for the left hand interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 2. So you're going to have the same connectivity before but what we've got now is on each switch we have two VLANs and the VLANs information is passing over the trunk. So once you've done this the only thing that remains is to do some ping testing. You won't be able to ping across the networks only from the 10 network and the 192 network. I'll type show VLAN brief and now I'll leave you to have a look at the commands just to check that the connectivity is all working. Don't be too worried if the first few pings time out, it does take the switch at least 30 seconds or up to 30 seconds to bring the port back up. So I hope you enjoy this lab, there's loads more free labs on howtonetwork.net and some free exams and lots of free goodies and one of the best things is how to pass your CCNA in 60 days which is a free program as well. Thanks for watching.